Hey guys, Fire Llama back with another video. Today we're doing a reaction video, but perhaps this time we're not doing a reaction that we react to. We're actually making another Twitch streamer that goes by the name AC88 to react to one of our videos. This Twitch streamer has almost 500 followers, so after you guys watch this reaction, please go and make sure to check him out. I'll link him in the description. Thank you. Let's get on to the video. Some pretty cool stuff, you know? So yeah, just send that to me, Vloma, and um, there we go. Looks like we got it here. All right, guys, this is pretty interesting. Because I have this, I got this one. This right here is the capture card that he is going to talk about. So here we go, guys. Let's go there. That's a pretty cool intro. So before we talk about this, um, just in general, a lot of people on um, a lot of people on YouTube when they get started, myself included, like to have really long intros and maybe a lot of like a five ten second musical clip or whatever but you can see right from the very beginning his was the sound of fire cracking it makes sense because the, the, his channel name here is fire llama so if you're not subscribed to fire llama yes, go sir. give him a follow yes, on youtube yes, help sir. a brother out yes, yes you know now as far as the font and text here i like this i like this original intro i like that the fire transition is cool that's super cool I like the uh, the the transparent uh, llama cutout here. That's neat. And as I've just as I have um, talked with llama about this before, I don't personally like the fire um, box. You know, I think that I like the um, if you could have the same exact llama head, but then you would turn it burnt up. Like just take the same image, but then use the color palette that you chose for the other picture in the transition, yes, but make sir. it like yes, a sir. burnt up llama yes, or the red yes, llama that yes, you're using. Sir. That'd be, I think much better personally. Kind of neat. Well, anyways, let's listen to the video here and see what he has to say, and uh, we'll talk about this box, this video, or rather this capture card. What's going on, guys? Fire llama, back with another text. Turn this up for you guys. So today, I basically purchased this HDMI USB video capture card, and I know it looks very shady, and you are right, which I thought at first, but when you looked at the reviews, they said it's a bang for your buck, so I decided to test it out. And I will link this one in the description, and for price, this one's only $13. Uh, compared to the ones that are literally the same. Yes, look sir. at here what he yes, what he sir. just did, which is pretty yes, smart. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. It's a bang yes, for your buck. So he... I decided to test it out, and I will link this one in the description. So do you see that here? For price... the um the link in description section when he says the word link in description, you see that come up, and then it'll also he quotes the price, and you see the price too with a money sound, which is pretty cool. Price, this one's only thirteen dollars. Look at that. Pretty pretty awesome yes, editing. Sir. Yes, sir. And uh, he's also talked about how yes, it's kind of shady because it's basically some coming from somewhere in China. China! Yeah, who made this? <laughs> so, um, anyways, we'll continue. Dollars uh, compared to the ones that are literally the same thing, but they charge twenty-five to thirty. And yeah, let's see if this thing works. So, in the box, you basically got an instruction booklet. Look too about how the text is slanted yes, backwards yes, so it matches like the yes, 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 angle of the sir. table kind of. That's pretty yes, cool. Sir. And I'm not sure how you did that, but that is really cool. I like that. that the, uh, the extra effort is noticed. Meeting and the actual capture card itself. That's basically all we have here. The capture card and the instructions. So let's take a look on of this product on Amazon. Here it is. It's called the Eternal Video Capture Card. And 
Right now, it's currently unavailable, but the price is $14. Here it is. Putting now, one thing I want to add in here is that this is, there are multiple sellers of this product, and I got mine from a company called Goudan, but there's uh, probably like four or five other companies or sellers on Amazon that are selling the exact same device. So um, that would have been helpful to know, but still, it is nice to see that you showed the website of where you found it because that one is the very cheapest to my understanding only 13 yeah that's a huge i bought mine for like 20 ish i think you know i it's hard to know when you're buying from china exactly how much you should be spending because it's all so you know not legit but it is what it is right so we'll continue here putting the box and the instructions aside this capture card on the outside looks fairly normal, like on the pictures, but the material actually is a metal, not some cheap plastic, which I thought. Yeah, it, it does feel really nice. It's pretty high quality. And the output USB and the input for the HDMI. It's, it's real metal. So basically, that's all this capture card is. Made in China and some info there, and yeah. Next, let's get on to testing this. So guys, basically, I'm going to be doing a whole demonstration on this capture card if this thing does work. And I'll make like a good video explaining everything, what you need to record on a Switch for the cheapest way possible. But for now, I'm just going to show you how it works. So we have the capture card right here. Our device we're going to be using to record is a MacBook. And we have our cool. capture card. And in order for this capture card to work... We, we need the adapter to put this into the MacBook. It has uh, almost yes, 100 sir. views. Yes, sir. 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 Which I have my switch right here. Yeah, here. this is pretty. Like I said, this is very good. It's not. My daily switch he's here. showing out all, all the products that you're going to need yes, to yes, make this thing work yes, correctly. Yes, 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 sir. We're going to be starting yes, off by putting the adapter into the Max USB C. So as you can see right here, we slide it right into the USB-C, just like that. Next up, we are going to be taking the USB capture card and plugging it into the adapter spot right here. It slides in really easily. Next, we got my switch here, which I have the HDMI cable right here ready to go. We just take it, plug it into the capture card, just like that. It's no fun doing things one-handed, I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> it's no fun doing it one-handed. That will be the setup that you need. And again, if you don't have a MacBook and you have a Dell, that would actually be a lot easier because you don't need this adapter right here. Mm -hmm. and you can make it work. So let's get on to... Seeing on the computer yeah, you might box. consider using a tripod, but so I mean, are, it's fine. I am going to be moving into a screen recording perspective, so let's get into it. So as you can see, oh, we're into my God. MacBook here. Okay, so one thing I just noticed, your voice got way louder, so you might next time try to do your best to... For most of it, you did have... Yeah, yeah. Not a big deal. Again, you're still getting used to good photo. It, all this is a, a work in progress, you know, so... But the point is that not my criticisms as much as as long as a viewer understands what's going on and I completely understand what's going on as long as you understand that that's totally fine kind of weird could fix it. oh that's unfortunate yeah your voice got way louder for some reason so want want to try to like equalize the vo run an equalizer on it or something like that so that you or limiter something like that but if you had trouble then you had trouble since this is a macbook we will be going to QuickTime Player, which is the easiest option. And don't worry, guys, I will make a full detailed video nope. and list everything you need to make this possible in the cheapest way with keeping in mind with Dell computers and any other types of computers. But for this demonstration, we will be doing Mac. So all you want to do is go to New Movie no, Recording, God. and then no, you God, hit this please, right no. here. No. As you can see, the USB no. camera, ah, you hit that right neat. there and the usb digital and as you can see my switch is right there and you can basically use this as a play a, a way to play on your laptop or and record so yeah here is my switch 
And yeah, that's basically how this capture card works. It actually does work, and it's only thirteen dollars. So stay tuned, and you will see nope. another in detailed video for for how all this works. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Here is the capture card. I will link it in the description. And once my detailed video on how to use this capture card and the cheapest setup to record on your Switch comes out, I will link it in the same video. So see you guys next time in another video. Bye. Cool. So what I would have done here at the end, uh, this club was pointless. <laughs> what I would have done at this last section here, I should have deleted. You didn't need to repeat yourself twice here. Um, so you said here at the end. Next time. Bye. So you said, uh, I'm going to make another video telling you how to use this in particular. And then right after that, you recorded thanks this section. Watching, you said thanks again, and I'm going to make a video again. So um, you probably probably could have cut here. It works. It actually does work, and it's only $13. So stay tuned. So right before that, stay tuned. Oh, right before that, stay tuned. I would have cut to right here where it says, oh, what happened here? Come back. Then I would cut back here, and instead of coming to your fingers, if you are camera shy, then you might have trouble with this. But I would show your face at this point and hold it in your and like like I am right here, and just tell everyone, I really uh, appreciate the device. I think it's pretty awesome. Blah 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 blah. Thank you so much for hanging out, and uh, click that. Uh, yes, yes sir. If you enjoy the video, yes, press sir. like, consider yes, subscribing yes, to the show. Yes, it's a great sir. way to support us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And as always, look forward to. Uh, our next video is coming out, um, and you showed your video. You showed your face in here earlier, so I don't think it'd be a big deal for you just to end the video showing your face. Because the truth is, one thing to always bear in mind, in my at least for me, is so just keep so keep watching the thanks for watching at the end. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that, Jessica, guy, but um, I would say you want to wrap up your thanks for watching section along with a little bit of self promotion. So, you know, say like, please like the video, consider subscribing, and uh, look forward to our next video coming out in which I'll talk about how the many ways that you can record game footage and use it for things like YouTube, Twitch, uh, Facebook Live, or, what, or, or wherever else live streaming takes place. And that's it. See you later. Something like that. You want to, I would probably want to script that out. Um, and then say it a couple times out loud, get comfortable saying, saying it over and over until it just comes out and feels natural. And then you record it like two or three times. Honestly, for me, like I, a lot of the videos that I work on and I, and you see on my channel, I've recorded probably twice before I, I, and I keep the best take. So it's just like, uh, you know how people, how actors will do. Uh, they'll they'll do um they'll, they'll deliver lines and then the director will say do the take again do the take again or whatever and I do I do that all the time so I'll take um do two or three takes on a ten minute video that yeah that sure it does double or triple the time it takes to make the video but um, I'll take the best clips or I'll take take the best segments of my reading from each of those videos and then I'll group them together so that. Ultimately, I have the most engaging, confident sounding and enjoyable YouTube video to listen to because the one thing that can really kill your channel and really kill your own personal motivation is if you're, you just sound bored, you know, or you don't, you're not sounding like you're coming off as very confident. So with that being said, um, yeah, um, I really do appreciate the video. Uh, how would you rate it out of 10? Oh, well, it's clearly not a 10. Um, it's not a 1, obviously. Yes, sir. So, at least, especially because of your age and how you're still quite young and you're learning how to do all this kind of stuff, I would put this... I mean, the quality of the video is perfect. You did a great job explaining what you're doing. I'd give this, an, a, as far as, like, informational... You have the links in the description. Um, honestly, like I said, the, 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 the what I'm... What I have criticized about your channel isn't the content itself. It's just the the edge cases. It's the it's the weird stuff, like um, not having a logo that that matches or um, the weird second r repeat. You know, so it's all stuff that you can easily work on. That 
that you already know is a problem and it's not the it's not the content itself so if it was the content itself it'd be much much worse i'd give you like a four or a five if it was around there um i'd give you even lower if you didn't even do a good job describing how to make the connection work but you did a great job explaining how to make the connection work so that it can be captured correctly and you showed it working which is also really helpful you didn't just show it with the hey check this out and then you never showed anyone and furthermore the video is only five minutes long which is actually really awesome because tons of people want to drag out a 10 minute 15 minute 20 minute video and you don't need that much t you don't need to waste that much time when you can just get to the very very quick description of how to make the thing work so i'd give it a solid seven and a half or eight i mean the only, I mean, yes, you might consider yes, play, sir, playing some background sir, music. Yes, yes um, sir. You might consider like yes, putting sir. some background music at the beginning or the end to help give a little bit of like, you know, some of that YouTuberness to it. You don't have to do that, but it would be cool. I would always recommend if you're gonna do, um, if you're gonna pick music to play. Uh, you want to probably make it consistent with whatever the channel vibe is or whatever your channel mood is. And I would definitely recommend that you don't pick music with lyrics because if you pick music with lyrics, whether it's rock, whether it's rap, whatever it has. <laughs> you see Word of the Night? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, just a guy. But I wouldn't pick music with lyrics, though, because um, they're you in general, you have to talk over them. They are uh, distracting, like just the guy said. And um, if the person ever finds their music and they don't like your, that you're using it without, if you didn't talk to them about it or whatever, they might tell you to take it down. And then you have that whole debacle, and that's a complete waste of time, that, um, all that kind of stuff, right? So in order to just avoid all that, just find some cool songs that are like royalty free. There's tons of websites that have that. And then from there, um, take up the great part of the chorus or whatever. And then you play that at the beginning or you play that at the end of your videos. And then you didn't have any clip. Let's see here. Once my detailed video One last thing I'd say is card and the cheapest setup to record on your switch comes out. I will link it in the same video. So see you guys next time in another okay, video. Okay, here we go. Bye. So right here you said goodbye and then you have a video here and you have the subscription panel So you did add your 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 card in here for another video and you added it in your channel button here Which is awesome, and maybe ne maybe what you could do is put a like again This is something that I need to do too So it's not that I haven't done this and you have and rather that I've done it and you haven't This is something that we both need to work on But I can see here that you didn't put like a little like image here to like put around the video and you didn't put a little circle here with some of your information you know like um fire llama on twitter or fire llama on twitch or, or whatever you're doing you know or whatever the next video i uh plan might be so you know you have a, a little bit of a, a i need yeah exactly just yeah so just guys saying that he needs to do the same thing too and you you guys I'm not really saying anything that you don't know, but I but a lot of people need to be told it though because they just want to be sure that they're tracking along with everyone else, you know. So that's probably what I'd say is that you overall you did like a seven and a half. I, more than I would say yes, more like a, more yes, of an sir. eight than a seven and a half because yes, yes sir. The, the only yes, thing that you sir. did wrong was just really minor stuff that I would expect you to get wrong, right? Like. I would expect you you only have you're around 266 subscribers so you you're doing good on YouTube but you're not like a, a thousandaire you're not a millionaire of subscribers yet so I wouldn't expect you to have the most amazing videos yet I wouldn't expect you to make the uh, to have not made these types of mistakes um, because you're still rather young and you have a lot of learning to do but as you get along further in your experience you're going to have um, systems in place or you'll have some software or whatever to help you out with that kind of stuff. So, yeah, man, I thought it was great. Uh, I'll just add in here. Great. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Helping me choose the right product. Now, 
I can stream my Switch to Twitch. Awesome. Review. Awesome review. Great. And then now other people can see that, and uh, maybe that will encourage them to continue and stay along for the ride, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> So you all, yes, you might want to also sir. let people know in, yes, in the sir. video next time, if you ever do another video like this, that they can record their Xbox, their PlayStation, their Switch, their um, HDMI camera, things like that, right? 